Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you my editing process in DaVinci Resolve, just how I go through my videos, what process or what steps I do to get to the end of the video, and just basically what I do. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing that I do once I've imported my footage, I've got DaVinci Resolve open here. I'm going to import all of my footage right here into DaVinci. And as you can see, that goes pretty quick. So now that I have imported all of my footage into DaVinci, the next thing that I do is I just do my rough cut. So basically what I do for my rough cut is I will put all of the clips on the timeline, cut out what isn't needed there, and just get them all in order. So let's go ahead and just start doing some of that. All right, so I'm just gonna jump in right here. So something that I'll do when there's a lot of clips like these, I'll actually use stacked timelines. So you can just come over here to this little icon, press on it, press this left option, and then there's gonna be two timelines. But now I'm going to come over to this button right here and press that. And then as you can see, it looks really weird but this is literal stacked timelines. So basically what I'm gonna do, cause as I've gone through these first few clips, they are all in order. So I'll just go ahead and highlight everything. Alrighty. And then after I've highlighted everything, I'll just drag it all down into the bottom timeline. As you can see here, I'm on the bottom timeline, and these are all of the clips put together. So then something that I can do is I can just either drag up each clip one at a time instead of having to go through it in the media pool because I know it's in order down here already. Or something I can do is I can go through this timeline, cut everything up, and then I will drag everything up to the first timeline. So just wanted to jump in here real quick because that's something I'll sometimes do when there's a lot of clips. Okay, let me just put you guys on the tripod real quick. So I'm gonna actually cut the part of me editing the video a little bit short. As I'm editing the video right now, it has turned out that I guess in my head I was editing for less time than I actually was. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a short of a, just a whole time lapse of the entire edit. So stay tuned for that. Um, so, you know, back to the video. All right, so my cat Jack just has stolen my chair. Okay, so if you haven't been to the channel before, this is Jack sitting on my bed. Hey, Jack. So, as you can see here, we have finished our rough cut, just putting all the clips on the timeline and cutting them up, taking out what isn't needed, you know, doing all that type of stuff. So the second thing that we are going to do is effects and sound design. So when I say effects, I mean titles, overlay, actual effects, transitions, all those different types of things. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to sound design for those and just do sound design in general. 
because for me it works better for me to do those effects and sound design for the effects while I'm doing them and it just helps me not forget what if a uh, sound I was gonna do or what sound I uh, had thought I was gonna do and I have to find that sound you know all those different things so that I don't forget it and after I finished my full rough cut the video turned out to be 36 minutes long and it took me about two and a half hours to do just all that cutting up the clips so there was a lot of clips right here it probably took us about four to five hours maybe four hours to do everything in the video because you know we took or we didn't film half of it because we filmed the other half showing how to do it so basically that's it lots of clips lots of time so yeah next thing is um probably get my chair back from the cat and let's do some sound design and add effects All right, so we have finished adding text, sound effects, effects themselves. And that is my second to last step that I do to edit my videos. So the very last thing that I do is add music. So basically I'll just find some music, put it in the video, adjust the sound throughout the video, take music out if there's like a extra clip or something. You know, do all that regular stuff and then I'll watch through the video after I've added all of that stuff and just make sure it flows make sure I didn't make anything too loud or too quiet make sure I or check that I want all of my cuts where I cut them so yeah if you want to see the full video uh, go ahead and go check out my dad's channel at driving forward builds so make sure to like subscribe comment down below see you in the next one He's annoying and cute at the same time. That didn't really work.